Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. I am so excited to show you all these beautiful flowers. I just got them at ShopRite, our local food market. I got them so inexpensively, a dozen roses for $12 and these three for $12. So, so inexpensive compared to the floral shop. And now, hi Coco. <laughs> And now I'm going to make a beautiful arrangement for my friend's big birthday party. Let's see. I'll figure I'll take you along. I hope you're going to like what we're going to create here. Uh, it's going to be gorgeous and on the budget as usual. So stay tuned. Look at this beauty, the powder pink roses. You cannot go wrong with a settle palette like this. So today we're going to use three or four white hydrangeas a dozen of pink roses, and three stems of spray roses. These are the tiny ones that grow in clusters. Also, we're gonna need some greenery, and I don't like to pay for that because greenery is all around us. You can always find some leaves or evergreens or some ivy, so that's what I found around my house. Also, we're gonna need a container, and I'm gonna use this beautiful pad I got at Home Goods. Lastly, we're gonna need some wet foam and Dollar Tree doesn't sell it. You gotta go to Hobby Lobby or other craft store. First, we're gonna drop our wet foam in water. I also added water to my pad because I will have foam just at the top, not the whole thing. Let me show you. This is after a minute or two. The sponge is full of water and I'm just gonna move it right here to the top of my container. I will push it down, but not all the way. I wanna leave about an inch, so I'll be able to add flowers there. Cut slightly around the edges, so it will be easier to insert stems there. First, as usual, we're gonna create a green backdrop for our flowers. But the only thing that these magnolia leaves are a little matte. So I took a cotton round and some olive oil and decided to wrap these down a little bit. And what a transformation! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this! And side by side comparison, definitely worth that extra step. <laughs> what do you think you're doing here, Coco? Coco, what do you think you're doing? So we're gonna create an asymmetric arrangement today. So we take the longest piece and insert it to the side. And now I'm looking for smaller pieces to insert all around. This one is a bit long, so I'm gonna trim it, but I'm not putting it back in the same hole that I just created. And never do that because the water won't get to your plant. So have to just move it next to it, okay? <laughs> So I'm trimming and inserting now to the back. Some on one side and also on the other. And I'm gonna move my camera in a second so you could see exactly what I did here. It's always more interesting if you use more than one greenery. As you can see here, I have some ivy. I'm just removing the leaves from the bottom and uh, just inserting some longer pieces again to the left and shorter to the right. And here's a perfect little piece to go to the back. <laughs> Let's fill in that hole right there. And I think this is a good backdrop. Let's add some flowers now. Let's start off with the biggest flower, which is hydrangea. Uh, we're gonna cut off that long stem, remove the leaves and insert it in a triangle. One right there. Another one right here. Lower, a little bit lower. 
and one more. And now we need a beautiful rose right here for the front. And this is how I force it to open up. <laughs> it works, it doesn't hurt the flower. Just look at that beauty, perfection. <laughs> and now I'm looking for smaller buds to put to the side. And I'm going to insert it vertically right there to that foam on the side. That's why I left that one inch up, okay? <laughs> All right, let's wake up one more beauty. Wake up, honey. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> oh, look how gorgeous. And so let's add it on the opposite side, right there. What else do we have here? Oh, what is this? What a nice surprise. Look what came with the dozen of roses. We're going to insert that guy right there. Perfect. Just what we needed, I think, to emphasize that asymmetry, right? <laughs> and let's continue inserting these roses all around. Wow, we even get some baby breath. Let's save that for later. Let's add some spray roses now. And these are great, they're already made clusters. Oh, let's cut off those cute little buds and insert them here. And now let's just fill in with some baby breath. It really softens the arrangement, doesn't it? I'm so glad that it came with the roses. And now a question for you. What is this thing? Anybody knows? 
because I have no idea. These vines grow on my fence coming from my neighbor's side. Um, and the leaves, unfortunately, wither very fast. So I'm just going to remove all of them. But uh, those tiny grapes are so cute. I'm just going to insert them around my arrangement. And they're going to give so much interest. I also have this type of hydrangea blooming in my garden right now. I'm just going to remove the leaves and some of the flowers because it's too big for the scale and insert it right there because that pointy shape is perfect. And I think this is it. I'm loving this asymmetrical arrangement. What do you think? Do you like it? I think we need a cherry on the top. Look at that adorable birdie from Dollar Tree. I think it coordinates perfectly with the silver vase and we're gonna clip it right there. Look at this sophisticated arrangement. Can you tell that these flowers came in bags from the grocery store? I don't think so. As you can see, it's not really hard. If I can do it, I know you can do it too. You got it in you. <laughs> And now we just have to wrap it up because it's a gift. So here I have some Dollar Tree glitter ribbon and we're gonna do a very quick bow. Measure 10 inch tail, pinch it. Another 10 inches folded in half gives you a five inch loop. Another five inch loop at the bottom. 10 inches fold in half, another five inches. And another one at the bottom. So we have second set of loops and one more. One at the top and one at the bottom. We have some ribbon left. We're gonna make a tiny little loop in the middle and we're gonna tie it together with a floral wire. Just insert it right there under the loop and turn the bow a few times to tighten it up. Fluff it up and we got a nice bow. Oh, let's not forget to cut the fishtails. We call it a traditional bow. Comment down below if you made a traditional bow before. Now we're just going to wrap it up in some cellophane. And did I show you the arrangement all around? Take a look. I don't think I did. It's pretty all around. And look at that magnolia leaf. You see how shiny? I love it. <laughs> we are just going to gather it up and tie it at the top. Close off the sides with some tape. And I'm gonna tap it off with my big bow. Normally I would put that bow at the bottom um, under the flowers, but that pad is beautiful and I don't wanna cover it up with the big bow. Next, I signed a card for my dear friend Basha and I'm gonna attach it right there behind the bow. And just like that, we doubled or even tripled the price of the flowers we bought at the grocery store. This is a huge arrangement. Some people would even have it as a wedding centerpiece. So I can only imagine how much it would cost at a florist. All right, my besties. 
So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you're going to know when I'm back here with a new video. Okay, take care, stay safe, and see you.